Campus Christi FC. And we're going to go ahead and start here to my left, and we'll let everybody introduce themselves. My name is Carl Azali. I'm one of the initial signings for Corpus Christi Football Club. Uh, my name is Kingsley Oconquer. I'm the president of Corpus Christi Football Club. My name is Sonia Ortega, and I'm the director of business development for Corpus Christi Football Club. My name is Sebastian Giraldo, and I am the assistant head coach. My name is Seth Kernick, and I'm one of the initial signings for the Corpus Christi Football Club. All right, guys. Um, first thing I want to do is take this opportunity to thank Dr. Oconquo for this opportunity to be the first head coach in Corpus Christi franchise history. Uh, I just really briefly want to state that this is uh, an exciting time professionally for me. Uh, it's an exciting time for Corpus Christi uh, soccer players, and I think above all else, it's an exciting time for the community. Uh, I really hope that this is going to be an opportunity to bring the entire soccer community together. So with that being said, uh, we're going to go ahead and start answering a couple questions here, and hopefully we'll really get to introduce the Corpus Christi FC family to the Corpus Christi community. All right. Dr. Kingsley, how does it feel um, to bring minor league soccer team to the Coastal Bend? Uh, we're very excited. Uh, our youths have had uh, very rich uh, 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 soccer. Uh, they've grown. Uh, we have over 70 academy uh, teams here. And we felt that we had to bring in a franchise that would give them an opportunity to be seen nationally. Uh, an opportunity to grow and be seen. And, and for those who have uh, dreams of playing professionally, uh, this gives them an opportunity to uh, uh, to showcase their talent and be seen uh, by the best coaches and uh, the national coaches nationally. That's why we're here. We hope that we'll use this game, uh, use our team to unite our community. Uh, we hope that uh, bringing soccer here uh, will give us an opportunity uh, to bring all uh, the different uh, uh, sub-communities we have in uh, Corpus Christi and the co Coastal Bend uh, bring them together as one. Um, Sammy, I have a question for you. Um, what exactly is the PDL? So uh, the PDL uh, is a very important aspect of soccer in this country. Uh, the PDL stands for the Premier Development League. And I think the most important aspect to get across is that this is part of the USL system, which is the second division of US soccer in this country. Uh, that being said, the PDL um, was made specifically to provide a pathway to professional soccer in this country. What that means specifically is that it allows our college uh, level athletes, specifically D1, D2, D3 level athletes in this country, to transition from the college season and play at a level that is basically just one step below the highest levels in this country. I think the most important aspect of it all is that these college players will not lose eligibility. Um, in the end, what we are really trying to do with the PDL here is to provide a pathway to professional soccer. And what the community should expect to see at this point is really the highest level soccer that has ever been in the Coastal Bend. And really, you're going to be uh, surrounded by athletes, um, coaching staff, that everybody is really trying to progress the game. And I think we're going to really see some high, high level talent um, come play in the Coastal Bend. Are there any age requirements or restrictions for people wanting to try out? Okay, so um, the age restrictions for playing in the PDL. Uh, we are focusing really specifically on players that are 18 years of age by June of this year. Uh, that having been said, there is no age limits beyond that. Uh, if you feel like you can compete at a high level, um, this is the team that you really want to come try out for. Uh, but in the end, the PDL really focuses almost exclusively between the ages of around 18 to 23. Uh, we do have availability to offer ages above that. But uh, if you're coming to try out, just be ready. Uh, these are going to be young, fit athletes. And it's really going to be players that are looking to compete at the professional level of the game. Um, you said earlier that you wanted to involve the youth. How do you plan on doing that? Okay, so um, the question is, how are we going to really involve the soccer community and the youth in Corpus Christi? Uh, like I mentioned earlier, I think this is really the most exciting thing that has ever happened to the Corpus Christi soccer community. I think the most important aspect of this all is that this is the first time in really Corpus Christi's history that there's going to be a pathway for young athletes to actually make the transition from elite youth level soccer 
to a professional level system. Um, right now, Corpus Christi Youth Soccer uh, ends at age 18, and we have had some extremely talented players go through the Corpus Christi development process in the past, but it usually ends there. And when a player doesn't make the transition to college soccer, that means it's pretty much the end of their soccer career. So I think the most exciting thing now is that every local youth soccer player can look up and can say, hey, these two guys did it, they're local guys, why can't I do it? And the team is right there for them. So uh, I think it's really gonna open up a whole new avenue for players. How do you plan on impacting the overall Corpus Christi community? Soccer um, is clearly a passion of mine. Uh, soccer is the world's game. And I think one of the most important aspects of CCFC is that it gives us a chance to bring the entire soccer, com soccer community together. Uh, for me personally, and I know for Dr. Okwonkwo, who uh, we've discussed this at length, uh, it's really about making the local community understand that this belongs to everybody. Uh, we have a quite diverse soccer uh, fan base here, and we want everybody to understand that this is family-oriented environment, old, young, uh, people from every background. We want to unite everybody, and we want to show uh, not just locally here in Texas, but we want to show uh, around the U.S., what type of passion uh, we have for soccer in this community. Thank you. Um, Seth, if you don't mind answering a few questions, um, how is this opportunity playing for the PDL going to prepare you for your long-term soccer goals? I think being able to experience playing at a higher level will benefit me in preparing me for the next level, which is the collegiate level at the University of Tulsa, as well as preparing me for my future goals of playing professional soccer. Carl, do you mind answering that question as well? Similarly for me too, I feel like this next level is the dream that I've been working to get to throughout my soccer career, and it's going to be the next step for me to eventually reach my goals of playing professional soccer here in the United States. Carl, um, what would be your advice uh, regarding the youth involved in soccer within the community? Um, my advice to the youth, especially with this program coming into place now, is that you can really work hard and reach your goals here in town. Uh, in the past, there's never been that direct link between youth soccer and the next step, minor league soccer. And now that setup is here in town, so you will be able to work hard and have your goals in line with what you want to be and be able to achieve them here in Corpus Christi, Texas and represent the community. And Seth, how do you feel about playing soccer at a minor league level for your hometown? I think due to the fact that I've grown up here and developed here as a soccer player. It means a lot more to me to play in front of my community, and I'm really excited just to play in front of my friends and family. Thank you. Um, how can interested sponsors reach the club? Okay, if you do have interest uh, for sponsorship opportunities, uh, getting involved with this club, uh, feel free to go to our website. There's a form there for you to fill out with your name and email address. And um, we have started sponsorships, uh, that process. So um, go ahead and start seeing those in. And how can they obtain more information about sponsorship opportunities? Um, I guess that kind of goes towards that first question is um, our website would be a great way to contact us. And we're trying to get back to as many companies as we can. We have had a lot of interest. Um, and we're very excited to show everybody our different um, packages that we're going to offer to the community. All right, um, final comments here. Um, I want to take this opportunity uh, to welcome the first two players in Corpus Christi history uh, signings. First one is going to be Caro Azali. Welcome to the team. Um, it's exciting to have him as part of the squad. And Seth Karenik as well, uh, right sitting next to assistant coach Sebastian Giraldo. Uh, these will be the first two signings in Corpus Christi Football Club history. Uh, for me, it's uh, an extra special moment. Uh, these are two players that have been long-term prospects in the Corpus Christi area. Uh, for me personally, um, they've been part of the development process at South Texas FC, which is one of the youth local soccer clubs here. I have had the honor to coach them um, for the past six years. Uh, they have really allowed me to be part of their development. These are outstanding young men. Uh, they're a great part of the community. They're great student athletes. 
And really, I think the message I want to get across is that Corpus Christi has had a lot of talent over the years. I grew up playing soccer here in the early 90s. Uh, my brother grew up playing soccer here. The talent has always been great, but there hasn't necessarily always been that next step. These two guys have dedicated really tirelessly uh, for most of their lives. I've been a part of it for six years. They clearly started that process way before I got here. Uh, gentlemen, uh, I thought it was going to be the end of the road after this year, but it's an exciting time. I get to be a part of the, your continued development, and I think you guys are really going to showcase uh, what hard work and what true dedication uh, does for players, and uh, you guys are really going to set the standard. So welcome to CCFC, and Dr. Ofonko, thank you for this opportunity, sir, and really look forward uh, for the next chapter in Corpus Christi soccer. Thank you, guys. Yeah, I want to set up something.